Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys the top 10 most useful iOS 14 home screen widgets. Now, before I even get into the video, I just want to thank each and every one of you guys who has subscribed to my channel. We have just reached 200,000 subscribers. And that's really, really amazing. Thank you guys again for subscribing and watching my videos. So here we go. Here we have 10 most useful iOS 14 home screen widgets. Of course, with iOS 14, a lot of apps have been updated to support widgets on the home screen, and some of them actually are very, very useful. So in this video, I will show you guys 10 of those. All right, starting things off with favorites. Now favorites is a widget that allows you to have your favorites contacts on the home screen of your iOS 14 device. Now you can see here we have different formats. You can have four favorites at the top right there, and here we have just one. Now what you can do here is just go ahead, three to touch on the widget, tap on edit widget, and then you will have the ability to go ahead and choose the contacts from this app. Now you allow this app to have access to your contacts. You have your favorites there and you can go ahead and choose from them. You can also go ahead and rearrange them. Now, if you wanna call one of the contacts from here, you tap on the contact and it will take you right here and give you the action to call. Now here on the single one, what you can do is go ahead and 3D touch tap on edit widget and you can add the contact here but it also gives you the ability to choose whether you want to call that action basically to call that contact or send a message so you can see right here you can switch between a call and a message which is of course very very useful and it also offers the 4x4 widget in which you can have nine favorite contacts on the home screen of your device Next up is Battery Grapher. Now, Battery Grapher will show you everything that you need to know regarding the battery of your iPhone. Now, first of all, once you have this installed on your device, make sure you go ahead and add it to the home screen and just leave it there for like a day or so until it basically gets the information, everything it, it needs to know regarding the battery life of your device. And then right here, we'll have the Battery Grapher. You can see this is really, really cool. With the 4x4 one, you will have way more information. So you can see right there at the top, it shows you how much hours of battery you have left. Of course, all of this is predicted based on how much battery you're spending hourly on your iPhone. You can see the graph right here and then lower here will have like different informations, how much percentage you have lost in the past hour, then the average per hour, average battery life and the prediction right there. Once you install it, it will say very bad. Of course, with time, it will get to know the battery of your device and will come to OK, which basically means that it is predicting quite good how much battery life you will have on your iPhone and all this, of course, on the home screen using the widget. Next up is Google. You probably have heard about this widget. It's really, really cool. So Google offers a widget for the home screen of your iPhone, and it is actually very useful. So you will have two different formats. We have the smaller one here, the two by two. You have Google search here. So once you tap, it will take you straight to Google search. Now at the bigger one, you will have four different actions. You will have the search at the top, and then you have lens here, which basically allows you to go ahead and search using your camera. So once you tap on each of these, it will take you directly to that action. You have the ignition tab right there, then you have voice search. So on each one that you tap, it will basically take you to that action quickly directly from the home screen. Next up is a weather widget called Hey Weather, and this one is by far my favorite weather widget for the home screen of my iOS 14 device. Now you can see right here, if you add the 4x4, of course it offers different formats, the smaller one, the 2x4, and the 4x4. You can see here you have a ton of different information. You will have right there the current weather, then here you have the hourly forecast, and then you have the humidity, you have the UV, you have the pressure, and you have the wind right there. And then on the side here, you will have the forecast for the next four days. So that's really, really cool. Now, if you tap on it, it will take you to the app. And right here, you will also have the ability to customize these widgets. So you can see here we have the bigger one and we can go ahead and change its color here, change the style of the icons right there, which is really, really cool. And they have a few like free styles that you can add. And of course you have a bunch of them which are paid, but again, it allows us to basically customize the widget and make it look really, really different. You can see how cool that looks. And of course, always with a bunch of information that you need to know regarding the weather. Next up is a widget called Time. Now, Time allows you to have real-time running timers on the home screen of your device, of course, using widgets. So here we have two widgets, the 2x4, which has two different timers on there. Now, if you want to run both timers at the same time, so more than one time, you will have to have the Pro version. The free version only allows you to have one timer at a time. So here on the smaller one, we have the timer, the same right there 
on the bigger one. Now, if you tap here, of course, you can go to the app where you can add different timers and then they will show up on the home screen of your devices. And you can see right there, anything that you need, like to have a timer in which you can go ahead and quickly take a look at, you can have them using this widget right there on the home screen. Next up is an app called Day to Day. Now, this one is really, really cool. It has a bunch of information regarding the today's date, the calendar and all that. Now, here I have two of the widgets. It offers a ton of them. I will show you them just in a second here. But right here on the two by four, you can see we have the current date. We have the battery there. That's really nice. And right here, have a message which you can go ahead and add here. So you go to edit widget and you can go ahead and choose the digital clock. You can swap the week name and show the battery level. Now you can add that message on the app. And right here, you can see the bigger one is shows the calendar the today's date, the current time and the battery widget are right there. Now going to the app, you can also customize this. So you have here all the different items that are on the widget. And of course, you can go ahead and pick colors for all of them and change them any way you like. Right here, you have your custom text message that you appear right there. You can change it's basically right here. You can change the font as well. And you will have all the different category, different colors for different percentage of battery as well. So you can basically customize this any way you like and make it look really, really cool. Jumping to the widgets panel, you can see here it has a ton of different widgets, different formats, of course, with different information. So you can go ahead and add to the home screen of your device and they look actually really, really cool. You can see this one is actually very awesome. It shows the date alongside with your message. And of course, the battery percentage We have a bigger one here, which looks also very, very cool. Next up, we have your progress. Now, if you want to track the year progress and also you want to track the weeks, the dates and all that, you can go ahead and add this widget. Now on the smaller one, you will see only the year progress, 95 days left on 2020. So that's good. We're almost out of it. And right here at the top, you have the year, you will have the weeks and you have today right there. So 12 hours left for today. 13 weeks left and 95 days left in 2020. So all the year progress informations can be done right here with this widget and have them on the home screen of your device. Next up is an app called Usage. Now Usage also offers a ton of different widgets with a ton of different informations regarding the RAM memory, the storage, your device info, your seller data info, your Wi-Fi info, everything that you need. Now right here, I've chosen three of the widgets that I use the most from this app. We have the storage there, we have the RAM memory here, and then on the two by four, we have here device information. So it shows you the system version, it shows you the uptime, the name of the device and the last reboot. Now jumping to the widgets panel, you will see we have a ton of different widgets. And you can see right here using this app, you can add a ton of different informations to the home screen of your device from the data info, Wi-Fi, seller data, all that to the storage, to the RAM memory, the detailed RAM memory, detailed storage, all that can be added to the home screen using this app. Next up is an app called Data Man. Now Data Man will show you on the home screen how much data you have left to consume during the period that you set. For example, this month, here we have the widget on the home screen. I have 2.8 gigs left, five days to go until the end of the month. And of course, it shows you the percentage of how much data you have already spent on that month. You can see this will change here the color based whether you're safe or not with the data that you have left. If it's like low, it will show the red like widget here. Very, very cool. You will also have the smart prediction, which is the two by two widget, which basically can be added here. And it will predict if that data will last long enough. And last but not least is an app called item reminder. Now it only offers one widget, just this one, the two by two widget. But I like this because it allows you to add different items that you need to remember quickly. So so just go right there, add any item. It's very, very simple to use, very simple interface right here. And then of course you will have right there on the home screen, any item that you need to remember quickly. So that is it for this video, guys. These are my top 10 most useful iOS 14 home screen widgets. Of course, there are a lot more there are probably a lot more widgets that deserve to be on this video, but until now, these are the best that I had the chance to use. So that's pretty much it. If you want to install any one of these, make sure to check out the pinned comment. You will find all the links that you need right there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.